Okay, so we've covered Moon and Mars, Moon and Mercury. Let's look at Moon and Jupiter. Moon and Jupiter are one of my favorite combinations. And the people I spend time with, transits within the sky, uh, overlapping of charts, meaning one person's Moon is on another person's Jupiter, and so on. I absolutely love the combinations of Moon and Jupiter. And why is this? Because Moon is our sense of self, our jiva, our soul, our individualized sense of the atma, or the pure consciousness. The moon is fullness, the moon is fulfillment, and Jupiter is expansion, joy, uh, confidence, um, optimism, things of this nature. And when moon and Jupiter get together, that is often called a Gajakesari yoga. So there are positive, really they're mainly positive with moon and Jupiter combinations. I, even when Jupiter's in bad dignity and you know the moon's not working so well, they still tend to be uh, very uplifting combinations. And what does that mean? Well, in your birth chart, if there are moon and Jupiter conjunctions or moon and Jupiter oppositions, or moon is in the fifth house from Jupiter or moon is in the ninth house from Jupiter, uh, these give the combinations. Or if Jupiter is in the moon sign and uh, the moon is in Pisces and uh, or the moon is in um, Sagittarius, similar kinds of combinations. <clears throat> this gives one a great capacity to see the good in all things. It gives a great capacity to respect the lives of others. It gives a great capacity to see how can we overcome obstacles through our inspiration, that we can see the bigger picture, to see, yes, there are problems, but we can move beyond it. We can rise above it. <clears throat> so Gajakesari Yoga with Moon and Jupiter, this gives a mind a consciousness which has the wisdom and the ability to do what it takes to accomplish their goals in a very joyful, satisfying way. Uh, Moon and Jupiter also brings a lot of comfort into the chart. Now, of course, this can be mitigated by difficult Rashi aspects to the signs that Moon and Jupiter are in, or difficult Lajitadi Avashtas to the Moon or Jupiter, but, but by its pure nature, this is an extremely uplifting, supportive combination. <clears throat> it allows a person to give and get good advice. So usually Moon and Jupiter combinations will allow one to have a good mentor, counselor, coach, guide, as well as allow a person to be a good mentor, counselor, coach, or guide. Moon and Jupiter combinations are an extremely fertile, creative combination, meaning that, <clears throat> for example, in, in Jaimini Sutras, having Moon and Jupiter influence in your Atmakarika or your Ascendant or second house from your Atmakarika and so on can give one skills in writing and creativity and benefit through expressing oneself through the written word. Moon and Jupiter is really a, a, helping, a helping combination, which means that if you have it in your chart, you might really be able to help others and assist them in a way that's beneficial to them. When there are Moon-Jupiter transits in the sky, a person will find that they are better supported in their endeavors. So, <clears throat> Moon and Jupiter combinations within your chart, by transit, typically allow you to accomplish things in a very fulfilling, joyful way. People with Moon and Jupiter on your Ascendant, on your Ascendant Lord, on your Atmakarika, these are typically people that you just love being around, assuming you're a healthy-minded individual, because they'll be very supportive of you, and they just feel you, um, fill you with that sense of grace and joy that the Moon and Jupiter are related to. Now, negatively, and what is the negative Moon and Jupiter? Well, maybe we've got Moon and Jupiter um, in maybe... Uh, Jupiter is in Capricorn, and maybe the moon um, happens to fall in, let's see, what would be a good one, um, Virgo. Um, we're going to have the influence of Jupiter to the moon by aspect, but Jupiter is going to be a little more too optimistic, not necessarily knowing what is the wise thing to do. They just sort of go on blind faith. So high expectations come about, which don't really pan out, but the person kind of ignores them because they feel like, oh, well, next time. So it's hard to really 
get a difficult moon Jupiter combination um, but it can be mitigated by other planets starving Jupiter or other planets um, impacting the moon that prevent them from manifesting this sense of grace and power and fullness and expansion of moon and Jupiter but when you get uh, Jupiter transiting your moon uh, in your birth chart that's typically a lovely time period um, or when the moon is in a trine from Jupiter and that happens at least what one two three three times three times a month because it's going to be in the sign with Jupiter it's going to be in the fifth from Jupiter and it's going to be in the ninth from Jupiter so if you do anything you can plan or watch those days and assuming all other factors are supportive that's a great day to feel good about yourself to achieve your goals and to start with this grace fullness and expansion of Jupiter and the moon